Hi everyone, it's the Psychic Sleuth and I'm here and I um, I wanted to get a video out on Kenneth Howard um, because I was sent requests uh, multiple times yesterday to work on it and I feel like it's important I get this information out. I wasn't so sure I was going to do a video but I decided um, I had to because if I'm right, which I pray to God that I am because you know I am human and, um, you know, we're meant to be wrong sometimes. So I pray, right? This was so vivid and so clear. It was like I was right there with him. Um, so I wanted to get this video out in case anybody could recognize where I was talking about. So here we go. In readings, I get, I can get past, present, and future different cases mixed up, mixed in, but in this case it was almost like I was remote viewing, like I was following him and there with him. So hopefully this is accurate. I would love to be right about this and I decided to do a video in case it makes sense to someone and they can go where I'm describing. Remember things can have multiple, like color red can be more than one thing and is... So yesterday, uh, 5.13.19, I kept trying to connect and see what I could get struggling but I was getting but I was getting he was super curious kid liked bugs trains and cars I kept seeing him following a butterfly getting a reference to color red uh, 0.5 and tall grass which 0.5 I was thinking like a half I, I wasn't really sure like a half a mile but then that kind of seemed far so it might mean something else um tall grass with white and yellow flowers and an outbuilding and a barn and a reference to horses and a reference to a, a pond in an area or wa where water accumulates where birds that play. Uh, lots of sounds of birds, bugs, frogs, and the smell of sweet grass and flowers. I could hear trickling water, which I'm now thinking could have been rain. Um, I was crying yesterday, trying to f uh, f crying yesterday, and I felt like I was failing as things weren't clear. And I felt pressure kind of blocking. And I also kept hearing the word stony. So, um, and, and there was a reference to Spider-Man, like he liked him or something, or he likes superheroes. Um, so today I decided to try again, much more calmer, 5, 14, 19. Uh, I don't know if he ever put his fingers in his mouth, but I don't know. I see him just standing there with his fingers in his mouth looking around. I mean, I don't think this is now, but when he went missing. Again, curiosity comes in like it did before as personality, as his personality He's curious in a lot of things, and I hear the word bugs. I also hear trucks, cars, and trains. I can see him pointing at a butterfly that's fluttering by. Again, I don't see him around anyone. He's alone, just like yesterday. I saw him alone, didn't see anybody else around him. I wonder if there is a back deck, or and if their back deck is wood, or if there's a deck-like area, because I see him climbing down. Numbers 47 coming big at, big at me. 47, you know, can be address, or something like that. Um... But he's like climbing down, I guess, if it's off the ground a little bit. And I see him walking and he's looking back over his shoulder, but I don't know if he sees something. I keep seeing, uh, being shown a butterfly or something that caught his eye. And then I hear I'm going to find mommy. Like he's wanting to go look for her since daddy is busy. Like I honestly keep trying to see who's around him, if anyone, if anyone does anything to him and I just see him alone. And I, I hear I'm just alone. So as fishy as this is to most, parents aren't involved. But I hear simply just wandered off. At this time, I do see trees as I follow him, like the back of the property. But again, I'm shown a red barn. Like, things can come in that he passes along the way. I don't know exactly where the red barn is. It was the very first thing I saw yesterday. And uh, how close to the river the house is, because I hear it rushing by. Or a creek or some sort of flowing water. But then, I see tall grass. I simply think he... I don't think he went to the water, although curious, he felt scared. I, I don't know. I see him looking around. I see an area where water kind of pools and birds come to play and drink. And I hear lots of birds chirping, frogs, insects. I'm struggling a bit because I see trees and now where I didn't see them yesterday. And yet grass, where like the trees and the grass kind of meet. And I'm shown, again, an outbuilding. Keeps calling it an outbuilding and it's brown and it's got a slanted roof and it's kind of mostly um like tall and skinny and I swear I see him open it and go inside he may have just gone to explore but I keep going I he keep hearing back of a property I hear like go down the road and I hear gravel and rocks and I hear dog barking 
like it looks like a bigger dog so I don't know if this is a dog on the property or one of the search dogs I know he went over there yesterday I know we went over this yesterday with my group but I did see a seven and seven's been coming in for a long time in my readings now um so I feel like it could fit here as well I just it's kind of weird that that was where this happened and also I did hear it um, and yesterday I was seeing a raccoon as well, like raccoon face, and I see it again. I hear stony again, and I keep getting stony. Um, but it comes in like stony hollow. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, I see tall grass again, and it's mixed with white and yellow flowers. I keep feeling he's in an outbuilding, and I see searchers, like I, because I worked on this case with the boy. It was found in the bush. I can't remember his name right now, but um, in my group, I kept saying he's in a bush. He's in a bush. Well, he was found in a bush, and the searchers had missed him, and they were all around him. Um, so it's kind of like that. Like I see the same thing with uh, Kenneth in my group. I, um, so I kind of keep seeing the same thing. Like um, I keep getting. Also, a reference to this case that I worked where a girl was found out back of her house in an out-type building area. And so, you know, that I'll get references to cases that are similar. So, anyway, they ha the searchers have orange vests on. And in here, I won't come out because if I do, I'll be in trouble. And this this building, I see, see there are tools like hanging like hose and a shovel, yard tools. And there's grass all around it, like this um, outbuilding type of thing. And I don't know if this is the parent, if this is the parents, but I feel more like it's um, by an area that hasn't been checked, because um, I can see, I can literally hear searchers calling my name, Kenneth, 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 where are you? And I don't know if he goes by Kenny for short, because I was hearing that as well. Uh, it would be helpful to see if there's any addresses around there. Also, the number nine comes in. Kind of confusing because I see him go down and then I hear back of property. So I don't know if it's the back of pro of someone else's property or his. I don't feel like his yard. I don't know why I hear two houses. So maybe two houses down or there are two houses on the property. I swear he's in this outbuilding. He has to be. It's like hide and seek. The feeling I get is um, he went to look for his mom. He got lost. Went in this, went in this building and thought... He was going to get in trouble and thought, Daddy will come for me. And he didn't know he was home, but then Daddy never came. And he's afraid to leave it. That's what his thoughts are. You know, it seems super fishy, but in this case, I don't think his parents are involved. I don't see them anywhere around him doing anything to him. This is simply a case of him wandering off and getting lost and seeking a place to go thinking his dad's going to come for him. Because I do feel like they have a close relationship, him and his dad. His mom isn't very stable, but he loves her, and he th and he thought, Dad is busy, I'll go find Mom. At the same time, as I stated before, in the very beginning, he got very curious about things, certain things he's seen or whatever. I see him playing with a stick in the ground. It's like, on, the pro on this property, you will find a red barn, or you'll pass one on the way, like a... Uh, a building and a brown outbuilding with a slanted roof and either two houses down that or there are two houses on the property it's towards the back of the property and I see and I see you'll hear a dog they have a dog I think that's another reason he hasn't come out because this too big and scary he says and the dog looks brown and I see some uh, type of those wire fences I don't know if it's to separate a property or something on the other side in a reference to horses so it's possible there is some type of horse pitcher or something of a horseshoe or something with horses or someone that's around horses or works with horses uh, here and yesterday I heard ranch and I know there's not really any ranches there but maybe somebody works on a ranch and that's who lives there um, I did hear there's wild horses in the area, though. Uh, hearing word wrangler, so no idea what that means, but hang on to it. Could make sense. Someone, uh, may have a Jeep Wrangler or something. I'm not giving up hope. I don't see him deceased at this time. We need to find this building, because I see him sitting in the corner, hiding with his arms around his knees and his head down on his knees crying and he's afraid to leave it's so weird my body feels so weird i wonder if my spirit was there with him in a major remote view because it was like i was there with him and i've never had this happen before don't call me crazy but um it was like i was standing in the outbuilding by the door and i was looking at him 
and he's in the left corner, and he's like I described before, with his head down and his arms around his knees. And I can feel his anxiety, and I'm shaky a bit. I can feel his hunger. It's not me, because I just ate. And he's afraid to come out. I feel like searchers have been around there, did not check the building, stopped short. Maybe they didn't see it, or whatever. Maybe it's kind of hidden. Um, there's something stony on the property, whether it be a well, or a driveway, or rocks, or the house's stones. Also, there's a reference to purple flowers or something in the yard. This is way back of the property, and it's small, but in a tall, skinny way, and so I feel like it, it may be kind of hidden, and so maybe they missed it. Um, it was like, I'm going in here to be safe till someone comes, but no one's come, and he's afraid to leave because he doesn't want... He doesn't know his way home, and he's weak. I reference the butterflies again. There could be something there, like a wind chime or something in the house near it um, that's butterflies. They haven't mowed their tall grass. is really tall around this building. Looks like they don't really go in it. And again, it's in the back of the property. And I don't know the street name, but I, I know the street name. I knew it was, but I was seeing some a cemetery, so that means he's possibly on the same street. And this is so frustrating because I feel like they stopped short. Number four is coming in, and, and it's, again, so a big reference to four, whether it be in the address or the fourth house. I kept feeling like if um, you're on the main road and you turn up, this is on the left. Keep wanting to go to the left. And I hear the word carpenter, so maybe one lives there that maybe the person that lives there is a carpenter. Possibly. Um... But the place has a woman's touch outside, so it looks like a couple lives there. Yep, see the building, outbuilding again. So it's a repeating vision, like the bush was for the boy in the bush that was in the bush and he was alive. Um, this came through the other day, and I don't know what the heck it means. The word Normandy could be a last name or something. And the name Charles, I don't know, could be someone that lives close by or there. Connection to that house. Um, again, I think I want to go down, not up. It's weird. It was like I was there with him in an astral way. Um, I'm trying to tell him it's okay, he can come out, I can see him crying, I can hear him crying, he doesn't know what to do, he's afraid of the dog, and then he doesn't know, uh, where he is really, he keeps thinking that they will find him, and I can hear the dog barking, and I can feel the dad's fear and sadness, and the grass, and the outbuilding is a repeating vision, and it was like I was following him from the beginning, and I could see him, and I was there with him, and it made dream of you. And then I was, like, in the corner, and I could see him in the left corner of this little outhouse thing. Um, and so my associate did try to reach out to the family. It was blocked, but we did reach someone else. So hopefully this will make sense to them. It was so vivid that he has to be there. Um, if this sounds familiar to someone, please help. Uh, look there. I can see it so clear, but I can't get to him, and it's heart-wrenching for me. So I pray. Please pray this little boy comes home. I've been praying. I've been wishing, I've been putting my thoughts out there, I've been telling him, you know, it's okay to come out, so um, please pray for this little boy to be found, please, please pray for these visions to be right, and for them just to go right to him. I really hope this makes sense, I hope I'm right, because if I am, that would be amazing, um, it would be a miracle, and he would be okay, and this little boy just really touches my heart, so um, I really hope it makes sense. Thank you, everybody, for liking, subscribing, and um, following. Appreciate your support in a major way. Um, you can reach me for more cases at thepsychicsleuth at gmail.com or General Heart Readings at Hotmail, or you can join the Psychic Sleuth group. I'll leave everything in the bottom in the description. Thank you again so much.